What's up you guys? I'm here in Charleston, South Carolina and I wanted to just update everybody on the current state of affairs down here. Whether you're planning a vacation or maybe a staycation, this is seven crucial things to know before you go to Charleston or any of the beaches near Charleston. So first of all, Charleston is a COVID hotspot. As a result of our growing cases of Corona, we are we have a lot of new rules and regulations and that is what I'm gonna talk about in this video. So the second thing you need to know is that masks are now mandatory. They were optional and hardly anybody was wearing them. Um, but now in order to enter any businesses and if you're in public, you have to be wearing a mask. Um, there are a few exceptions, but otherwise you can be fined. And the exceptions are if you are at a restaurant or a bar and if you're sitting down to eat or you're actively eating or drinking, you do not have to be wearing a mask. And also at the beach, if your feet are in the sand, you don't have to wear a mask. Otherwise, be sure to mask up. Uh, have some extras. I have masks for days in my car, my purse, just all over the place because I feel like I always am forgetting that uh, new little accessory we all have to wear now. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is businesses and some restrictions on businesses. So um, probably the first thing that you're going to want to know is that bars and restaurants can no longer serve alcohol past 11 p.m. So normally they close at 2, 1.45, and now it is 11. So get in there early if you're trying to get your drink on. And also, um, they, they, have, they have limited capacity, so only 50%, I think, and also, you know, as much outdoor seating as possible. So if you really want to go somewhere and you have a bigger group, definitely make a reservation. Um, also, like I said earlier, you have to be wearing a mask to enter, not when you're sitting, but you do have to have one just to get in. And also just a lot of places have limited hours, limited menus, or maybe they're just not open at all. It's kind of up to the owner's discretion whether or not they even want to be operating. Okay, so the next thing I wanna talk about is some of the new rules and regulations at the beaches near Charleston. So we've got Folly Beach, Isle of Palms, and Sullivan's Island. And each beach kind of has their own different rules. Um, so let's start with Sullivan. Sullivan's, they don't allow any public parking, nor do they allow you to bring chairs, coolers, shade structures. So in other words, just don't go there <laughs> unless you live there. Then there's Isle of Palms and they have um, you know, more lenient restrictions, but there is restricted parking. You can only park in the paid parking spaces um, in the paid parking lots. You cannot park along the streets without a residential permit. Um, but they are allowing you to, you know, hang out, stay a while on the beach. You can bring your beach gear and all that. And then the best beach for last is Folly. Um, that's where I live. And we, I would say, are probably the best beach to visit in Charleston at the moment. We do have the same parking restrictions or similar uh, as Isle of Palms. You have to um, we park in the paid spots, the paid lots, and as well as you can park on Arctic Avenue. So it's the one street that goes along, you know, it's like the beachside street or whatever you want to call it. Visitors can park there, but you cannot park on any of the other streets, which normally you can, just not right now. As far as social gatherings go, the maximum amount of people that you can be with on public property is 10. So I'm sure if you have a bigger group, you just need to spread out. Don't cluster together um, or else the popo might come and break it up. <laughs> the final thing you do want to keep in mind is that a lot of places, other states will impose a quarantine on you if you have traveled to South Carolina due to our high number of COVID cases. So make sure to look into that and if that affects you, might affect your travel plans. The last few things I want to add, some more uh, crucial things to know before you go to the beaches in Charleston is that it's really hard to get an Uber from the beach to leave. If you're staying somewhere else besides one of the beaches, then it's usually pretty easy to get an Uber to the beach, but then you might very well get stuck. So definitely arrange transportation ahead of time. There are some local companies that are really great. Charleston Black Cab is one of them. I will link to some more in the description below, but 
you do not want to get stuck at the beach. I mean, it's really not that bad, but if you got stuff to do, then pre-arrange transportation, at least from the beach. All right, guys, let's just do a little summary of all of that. Number one, Charleston is a COVID hotspot, probably not the best place to visit in August of 2020, but keep on checking back. Hopefully things will calm down a little bit here in South Kakalaki. Um, face masks, you have to wear them in public. You have to wear them to enter almost pretty much all businesses. So bring multiple, have them all over the place so that you can do whatever it is you gotta do. Uh, business restrictions, there are a lot. <laughs> Starting with the fact that you cannot party in public past 11 p.m. Bars and restaurants cannot serve alcohol, no loud music, and they all have to serve at half capacity and limited hours, limited menus. They might not even be open. So if you are with a big group, especially do due diligence to make reservations. Otherwise, just, you know, hop on the old Google and make sure that wherever you wanna go is open and willing to serve you. <laughs> the next thing, parking restrictions all along the beaches it is limited or not allowed at all. Get transportation, prearrange it from the beach. Um, and finally, social gatherings need to be 10 people or less. And if you're traveling to South Carolina, your state might enforce you to quarantine for two weeks upon your return. So definitely look into that and uh, that could affect your plans. I hope you found this video useful. If you liked it, hit the little like button. And if you'd like more information about Charleston, be sure to check out my website, bakermanning.com or subscribe and hit the little bell notification to get notified when I post more videos, which I will be doing every week. Be on the lookout for my next video, which will be full of tips and tricks for planning a vacation or staycation in Charleston during COVID. I am Baker Manning. Thank you for tuning in and uh, holla at your girl.